Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen News. Each week, crunching down the relevant information of Star Citizen and regurgitating it back at your face holds. This time for the week ending the 22nd of January 2017. The newsletter this week gave us some important information uh, about the next few weeks of development of Star Citizen. We have an updated schedule report for 2.6.1, the next patch that's coming out. The plan is to have a live build out by the 16th of February, with it going to PTU, the Public Test Universe, as early as the 6th of February. Uh, so... Um, 2.6.1 is intended to be a bug fixing polish, polish patch rather than a large content patch with the main aim of improving a player's experience and building upon the foundations of features that they introduced in 2.6.0. Uh, improvements to improve yeah, player experience such as balancing ship speeds, uh, improvements to grenades in Star Marine and some additions to the menu, in-game leaderboards, uh, as well as some important bug fixes um, and some other bits and bobs. I'll actually go through a few of them now. Uh, so weapon sights now being correctly positioned rather than disappearing off your guns. Um, various fixes to improve overall network stability, desynchronization and memory links. leaks are a priority there too. We don't want to be desyncing during Star Marine games. Uh, they have um, level layout changes to improve the balance between um, team spawn points on some of the levels. Uh, further adjustments to ship speeds and the adding persistence to save and load cameras between sessions now um, so you don't have to save them every time. Uh, lots of weapon balance across the first person shooter and ships range uh, and lots of in general network stability and improvements including serialized variables and all that sort of jazz as well. So we should have a much better more polished game without a lot of the problems we currently have. 2.6.2 multi-region servers. So they want to get out another patch after 2.6.1, a small one hopefully coming out pretty soon afterwards um, that will kind of the intention of it is to get the mega map into the game which will allow you to jump into games and move around between matches star marine persistent universe arena commander much faster uh, without as much loading in fact uh, the la office have recently been retrofitting all of the persistent universe and game modules with the object container streaming system which is the main point of um, this mega map this um, will basically allow them to generate a small level or like a small box, effectively. They're just streaming stuff in, um, and it will significantly reduce loading times for players getting in or moving between game modes, basically. Uh, but 2.6.1 will also get multi-region servers up and running with the new Amazon Web Services backbone and with the Lumber Engine, so we're going to have much better uh, latency and pings. That should significantly improve them. With... Um, uh, that you can go check out the schedule report if you want as well. It's on robertspaceindustries.com forward slash uh, schedule dash report. Um, we will have more information about 2.6.2 and 3.0 shortly, but there is so much info there on 2.6.1, including all of the bits they're working on um, and some stuff that obviously might get moved out of the, the patch in 2.6.2, all that sort of stuff. There's a breakdown of all of it there. Um, ATV and Happy Hour this week had a few tidbits of information for us. Uh, it was a little quick LA studio update. They've been working on some pretty cool looking stuff there though. Uh, some clothing, the Explorer flight suit they talk about. Uh, flight suits will give you different options and advantages based on which one you pick and outfit, but there also might be disadvantages there as well. Um, character head options and customizations um, for that are currently being polished at the moment and they are looking pretty damn impressive. I'm very much looking forward to being able to customize a character. Um, they don't talk about the female model, but hopefully we should have that in there soon too. Uh, the Drake pipeline, they talk about grey boxing for that Buccaneer. Um, they're getting ready for a final art pass on that. Uh, they've already completed uh, the fuselage, engine, wings and front landing gear. And they're now moving on um, to finalise the nose, cockpit and rear landing gear. Uh, they've also revised or are revising a radar like 2.0 for Star Marine uh, with various improvements including taking advantage of the item system 2.0. There's a little piece on Pirate Swarm here as well, uh, talking about the choices of pirate ships, their AI, and uh, improvements that it brings to Star Citizen as a whole, allowing them to do, actually do a, a few more bits and bobs and test stuff out, including AI subsumption and its, it's like simplicity. Um, it's worth watching if you're a Pirate Swarm junkie. They do warn that 2.6.1, that it will be even harder 
in Pirate Storm. Pirate Storm is re reasonably hard, uh, with Pirate Aces being given the most powerful weapons on their ships as well now. In Happy Hour, Sean Tracy gave us a few little uh, information nuggets as well of info. Uh, Star Citizen will support many forms of anti-aliasing in the future. It's something that they'll give more time to much closer to completion when the game's at a polishing stage. Delta Patching is being tested internally now, and they have a build that they're testing, uh, and they want to get it out to us ASAP, but there's no further um, uh, exact times or anything than they're, they're even assuming we're going to get it. Uh, it will, would be um, easy for them to put tanks uh, or tracked vehicles into the game. The engine and tech are ready for it if they wanted to do that. And Item System 2.0 will treat pretty much everything it can as a component. Holsters, belts, parts of ships, um, everything that it can. It will give huge customization potential when it goes live. And lastly, I want to leave you with a sneaky peeky from the newsletter. It is a corridor from the Banu Merchantman. The finely detailed work on the corridor floor showcases the superb Banu craftsmanship passed down from generations by their venerated guilds. Such attention to detail is what makes the Banu Merchantman a favourite of traders across the UEE and the Banu Protectorate. Please remember, guys, that commenting on any of our Star Citizen videos each month gives you a chance to win a ship in January. That's an Avenger Titan. Are you excited for 2.6.1 and 2.6.2, getting some further balance and, uh, and some much-needed networking and server love? Or are you just waiting on 3.0 and all those important planetary landings and exploration that you're going to be able to do? And missions and actual gameplay, you know. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well, guys. And I will see you in the verse.